Hi all, I've made a few videos explaining Melbourne's major railway junctions recently, but this time I thought we'd take a look at one of the city's more interesting tramway junctions. St Vincent's Plaza is a major tram stop located just outside the Melbourne CBD, on the border of East Melbourne and Fitzroy. Taking its name from St Vincent's Private Hospital, which towers over the plaza, it consists of three platforms serving four tram routes. The stop is on Victoria Parade, a very busy road corridor with three lanes each way, plus bus lanes. The tram line runs down the middle and features long sections of attractive and functional reserved trackage lined with elm trees. At the eastern end is the line going up Brunswick Street, which is well known for not being in or going to the well-known suburb of Brunswick. And at the western end, another line runs down Gisborne Street. Routes 12 and 109 enter the plaza from Gisborne Street, then run along Victoria Parade to the east. Route 11 also comes from Gisborne Street, but then turns north up Brunswick Street and outbound Route 11 trams have their own dedicated platform. At the eastern end of the plaza is the very scenic Brunswick Street siding, the terminus for Route 30, which is the only route continuing west along Victoria Parade from here. The 30 is Melbourne's shortest tram route by far, and basically only exists to provide a service along La Trobe Street, which otherwise only carries the city circle tourist trams. Now, normally when you have any sort of transport stop with three platforms, it's standard practice to have one island platform and one single platform. Island platforms are usually a good idea because they allow passengers to wait in one spot with the ability to quickly board at either platform in situations where there are multiple options for reaching the same destination. However, St Vincent's Plaza has a fairly unusual arrangement with three single platforms. This means that passengers have to be careful to wait on the correct platform, however, it is very predictable with each route always departing from the same one. And that's a physical restriction of the track layout, so you won't be caught out with a last minute platform change. The platforms aren't numbered, because that just isn't the done thing in the tramways, so signage simply indicates which routes depart from where. The southernmost platform is used by all trams heading towards the city, so that's 11, 12 and 109 heading down Gisborne Street, which run through the CBD on Collins Street, and Route 30 heading west along the parade towards La Trobe Street. This platform features a well looked after historic waiting shelter built in 1933, which is listed with the National Trust. The middle platform is for trams heading east along Victoria Parade, so that's 12 and 109, as well as being the set down platform for arriving Route 30 trams before they shunt to the siding. The northernmost platform is exclusively for outbound Route 11 trams, and is the only platform with physical access to Brunswick Street. Giving left turning trams their own platform here allows more efficient movement through the intersection, making sure trams aren't blocked when their turn comes in the light cycle. The plaza is also a crucial junction when diversions are needed in case of disruptions, planned or otherwise. The very busy city-bound line heading down Gisborne Street to Collins Street has no access to any other route through the CBD, so in the moderately common event that something goes wrong on Collins Street, usually something involving taxis or Ubers and illegal U-turns, routes 11, 12 and 109 will divert at St Vincent's to continue west, heading through the city on Latrobe Street. A short distance to the west along Victoria Parade is a major intersection with Nicholson Street, often called Vic and Nick in the tram world. This is a three-quarter union junction, meaning there are curves on three of the four corners, and the north-south line carries the very busy routes 86 and 96. As well as running straight towards La Trobe Street, trams can also turn into Nicholson Street, then run through the city on Burke Street, although this is a very busy route already, so it's not usually used for diversions. It is also possible to access Flinders Street from here, or even head out to the eastern suburbs along Wellington Parade if you so desire. When all the Collins Street routes divert via La Trobe Street, it can result in a big build-up of trams approaching Vic and Nick, because the traffic light timing isn't optimised for so many trams approaching from that direction. You may notice that this bit of track here isn't used by any normal route, and exists only to allow trams coming from the west to access Brunswick Street. There are also a couple of crossovers just outside the plaza, one just to the west and one on Brunswick Street, which allow trams to reverse direction in those places if need be. Occasionally, Route 86 trams from Nicholson Street will divert via Route 11, as there is a connection between those two routes further north in Preston. Speaking of Preston, Brunswick Street is the route normally taken by trams heading to and from Preston Workshops, Melbourne's major tram maintenance facility. So it's fairly common to see all manner of different trams from around the network passing through St Vincent's while making the trip to or from their home depots. However, under normal circumstances you'll see just three types of tram at the plaza. E-Class on routes 11 and 30, A-Class on route 12, and a mixture of A's and C's on route 109. When I first took pictures here back in 2011, there was still W-Class running on route 30, which was cool. 
Victoria Parade also carries a rather large number of bus routes and features dedicated bus lanes, so the plaza is an important interchange point between them and the trams. However, the bus stops are really poorly integrated, being roadside stops quite some distance from the tram platforms, requiring passengers to cross several lanes of traffic and making tight connections easy to miss. So that's St Vincent's Plaza, an important interchange and a great spot to watch a ton of trams. Thanks for watching.